the four most important sales skills. Now I get it. When I first started in this industry, I kept telling people, well, it's not really sales. And people always used to tell me that. It's like they were afraid of sales. And I find myself talking about this topic a lot because it is so important. So I make a lot of videos about how to do the sales process, a lot of videos on how to make money because it's so important for people that are in this journey in their online business. So I'm gonna give you four of the most important sales skills. Hey, if you wanna see those videos or more videos or I talk about sales, subscribe to my channel. Give me a like, subscribe to my channel and you'll get those videos. I publish videos every Tuesdays and Fridays and you'll get those videos throughout the week. So what are the four most important sales skills? See, in life, right, we are selling all the time. Little kids, you ever heard a little kid in the grocery store about why they need something, about why they should have this, about why they should have that? How about in a relationship? Right? Do you sell on stuff that you think is important? Or has your partner and spouse sold you on what they think is important? We're selling all the time. Everywhere. We just don't talk about it as being sales. Because most of the time, most of us are way too worried about what other people think. Nah, I'm not in sales. That's not what I'm doing. Well, what I do is I help people in their journey. So the first, the most important, well, all four are really pretty important, is listening. You have to be a really good listener. So you want to know where people's pain is. You want to be able to hear what they're telling you because some people don't are not going to even qualify for what you have. You know, if you're a coach, you might not want them in your program. If you have a training program, you might not want them in your program. So you need to learn how to listen and really hear what people are saying to you. Number two is having empathy. And when I say that, empathy is by being able to put yourself in their shoes. Now, some people really have limiting beliefs. Some are just afraid to pull the trigger. But when you listen to them, you really have to have some empathy and hear what they're saying to you. One, they might not qualify. Two, they might really need what you have to offer. And that's not where the sales come in, but where your listening skills and your empathy skills come in, is finding out the right people for you. Hey, I put together a great ebook how to easily and quickly find the quality leads. Because that's what it is. We're trying to find the right people to talk to so we can put them into our process. So we've talked about listening. We've talked about empathy. The third thing is integrity or ethics. Man, have you ever been, and I, I know you have been, have you ever been in the position where you're somewhere and people are just pushing what they have down your throats? Or they're just only talking about their troubles, but mainly what they're trying to push, what they have for you to purchase, even if you don't need it or qualify for it. See what I purchased something? It's usually when people say, oh, it might not be right for you. Because then I start, okay. They're listening to me. They're hearing me. They're more concerned, not about making money, but if I'm the right fit for what they have. Those are the people I listen to, and those are the people I purchase for. The fourth one is your follow-up, or, or tenacity. See, there's people, right, that they might tell you, in their own words, when you're listening to them and you have empathy for them and you're not trying to push a sale, but you deep down know that what you have is something that can help them. 
or the timing might be right, might not be right. See, I've sold the coaching programs that people have told me, whoo, months before that they didn't have the right money. And I hear that. There's times that you don't have the right money. Or there's times in your life things aren't going the way they're supposed to be that you can't do that. You have to hear that. But those people have come back and purchased for me because I was listening to their pain. I had an empathy for them. I didn't push. I did it with integrity. But I kept following up to see where they were, to see what was happening. Now, this is the fifth one. I told you four, but this is the fifth one is you have to know what you're worth, right? And I get it because when I first came online, started making my own courses, it was like I started pricing at $7. I started pricing at 19 at $27 because I wanted to make sales. But there's many times if you put that price too low, people are going to say, what the heck? That's not what I'm looking for. It's not good enough for me. And I learned this skill. This is, I used to train dogs. I had a unbelievably male golden retriever. And we went to sell puppies. And I was talking to my veterinarian. And we set a price. And he says, you know, go online. Because you'll find prices for dogs like that all over the place. He said, but what you have, you have this dog that is so good and people just don't know it yet. If you put a higher price on it, you're actually gonna find more buyers. And you know what? This country veterinarian, I shouldn't say that, because if you're a country veterinarian, he was really a great guy and a great veterinarian. He taught me a lesson of anything because we sold pups from that dog all the time because he was such a great dog. And what we did when we put the price on our puppies, we started putting the right people into our funnel. And we always sold his pups. They were always sold because of the price thing. So know what you're worth, right? You solve people's pain. You solve their problems. You know, know your price value. I hope that makes sense. I really do, because that, that really made sense to me. The biggest thing is when you're doing sales is be real. Be yourself. Be natural. Right? And then find a place where you can find the right people to talk to. So grab my ebook below. I'll put a link in the description about where you can find the right quality people. It's a great ebook. So here's what we talked about. Five, four, I told you, but I actually said five. One was your listening skills. Make sure you're a listener. Have empathy with the people. Have integrity and in your ethics. Be tenacious about following up. Not if they don't want it, but if it's the right thing for them, just be there to follow up. And then the fifth one is know what you're worth. Hey, like this video. If you got any value, click that subscribe button, share this with your friends, and we will have more videos coming out soon. Talk to you later. Bye.